Hello and welcome to another episode of What's Inside. Today we're looking at Overpower the card game with uh, Batman and Superman. This is a starter deck. It's a, I believe a one player starter deck. It's got 65 collectible cards in it. Ooh, This is of course a DC one as opposed to Marvel Overpower. So let's get right in and see what's inside this. And since it says Batman and Superman on it, I'm pretty sure their cards will be in here. Pretty sure. You never know with these older games. Sometimes it's just a big old mess. Just like this cellophane is quickly becoming, because this is really ancient. Alright. On the back it says this is a whole new card game. New powers, like intellect. Uh, use strategy and brain power to plot your way to victory using all new power, universe, and multi-power cards. There's a new universe card, the ally card. Uh, there's overpowering artwork, yeah, okay. Overpower lives, compatible with earlier overpower releases. Minutes to learn, years to master. Oh, there's 69 cards inside. Uh, teams consist of either four heroes or four villains. And apparently that might be random. So let's get right in here. Cards are not sealed, I don't like that. And yeah, don't come out real easily. All right, we just got a big old jumbled mess. Here's our rule book, DC Overpower. And it, it's got an in -de or a table of contents, some black and white pictures of the cards and layouts and all that, and what to do. This one is about 36 pages. And it smells kind of weird. Probably from storage. Alright, on the back, the cards are different than the Marvel, obviously, because they can't put Wolverine on a DC deck. Um, somebody would be suing somebody. Alright, and we got the o Overpower Mission cards. Eye of the Storm. Uh, these stick together. Uh, we got Superman in some sort of protective outfit. On the back, they're red instead of blue. The Marvel ones were blue, these are not. There's Superman and Kyle Rayner, Green Lantern. So these must be around mid 90s, 96. Uh, the Parasite, Superman and Green Lantern, and Paris apparently. Uh, another Superman and Kyle Rayner with Parasite. Yep, same guys, different scenario. Same thing. Superman's got his goofy long hair, so this is post-death Superman. There's another card. There's a duplicate in here. That's weird. Another duplicate. Another duplicate. And these were nice cards when they were new, but they stick together now. So, we got a couple of duplicates here, so I don't know what that's all about. Let's see if they're numbered. Yeah, there's number seven, number six, number five, four, three, two, and one. And then we have duplicates of most of them. There's six, or wait, there's seven. There's number six, four, three, two, and one. So we have all but one for two sets. This one has number five, this one does not. So I don't know what that's all about, but I assume they're extras. I, I don't know, maybe they're not supposed to be in there. I don't think it says on the box. Nope, doesn't say. So it's a mystery for the ages. Or until I find another deck. <laughs> all right, let's get right into these. We've got Commissioner Gordon of the GCPD. Yeah, they added the intellect on. If you watched the previous videos where I opened the Marvel uh, starters, uh, the intellect was not on there. Obviously, it was added. Um, I believe there's a version called Monumental Marvel that w also had that, but not the original. All right, we got a Commissioner Gordon and the GCPD uh, reinforcements card. Uh, another Commissioner Gordon Riot Gear card. There's Bullock. Uh, tear Gas Guns. Commissioner Gordon. 
Oh, we got a Penguin 1 card. Uh, we've got a Robin saving somebody. That's got to be Tim Drake. Or, uh, Jason Todd was dead by then. It's got to be Tim Drake. Uh, Huntress. And we got a Supergirl. Interestingly, these do not have the little um, name with the trademark and copyright information on them. Normally that's down in one of the corners, but I don't see it on these. Uh, they have the trademark information on the back of the card, but on the Marvel ones, they had the names down there so you knew who they were. They don't on these, it looks like. There's Gordon busting down a door. You don't do that with your shoulder. You're going to throw your shoulder out. Use your leg. Kick it in. There's Superboy. Uh, who we got here? Parasite. He's way stronger than that. We have the Eradicator. Uh, John Henry Irons in his steel outfit. Take a swing at... Is that Green Lantern? Nope, that's just some guy. The Riddler, looking really kind of creepy. Um, that lady from Metropolis who ran the uh, special crimes unit thing that I can't think of right now. Uh, Poison Ivy. Bane. Again, it's Bane and he's got a 1, really? Nightwing. With the art by Casey Jones. Uh, there's Catwoman in her more Silver Age looking outfit. There's another Poison Ivy with a different image. Uh, I don't know who that guy is. Big Robot Man. Looks vaguely like Metalo. Uh, there's the Imposter Cyborg Superman. Uh, we have. Um, looks like Killer Croc. Uh, Redhead Lady, <laughs> I don't know who that is. I don't know who this guy is either off the top of my head. I want to say he's a Teen Titans villain, but I'm not sure. Some guy with mutton chops, Two-Face, the Joker, another Joker, this time with better selection. Um... This bald guy, I'm pretty sure, is Lex Luthor. There's Batman beating the crap out of some thugs. There's Superman shooting rocks for some reason. There's a training card with Riddler on it. A training card with uh, Steel. Not played by Shaquille O'Neal. We have a training card with Superman. Not played by Nicolas Cage. We have a Batman training card, which is on par with Superman but different set of stats Doomsday training card a Azrael training card uh, an uppercut card with Bane on it 6 plus 1 that's pretty good a blind side with Robin also a 6 plus 1 but that's intellect a dodge with Catwoman Penguin with a laser an ally with uh, Oracle and Batman. An ally with Lois Lane. An uh, ally with Gangbuster. Oh, a teamwork card with uh, Nightwing, Robin, and Supergirl. A teamwork card with uh, Riddler, Penguin, and Two Face. Ooh, a Justice League case file, Eye of the Storm. That's what these cards were labeled, Eye of the Storm. The Parasite surprised us both. Having fought him before, I knew how to act fast before Green Lantern not only lost his power, but his life. The special ability, no cards with the word avoid may be played this battle. Wow, that's kind of harsh. There's another one, Eye of the Storm case file. This one, reserve character may use power cards to defend any frontline character this battle. That's pretty cool. Another uh, Eye of the Storm. Do not discard any duplicates from this battle. Steel's boot jets. So Steel must be in here. Yep, there's Steel. He's pretty good. He's got a 5, 3, 6, 4. Uh, there's another Steel card. Human Shield. 
uh, Steel Exoskeleton, uh, Superboy Tactile Telekinesis, there's Superboy's card, he's a 6-3-6-3, six, three, six, three. that seems pretty solid, Superboy Up, Up, and Away, Superboy Kid of Steel, then we have Superman, Earth's Greatest Hero, so obviously we have a Superman Heat Vision card, a Superman Defying Earth's Gravity, and Superman's card itself, Energy is 7, Fighting 4, Strength 7, Intellect 3. So Superman's pretty freaking awesome in this game. So that's what this starter looks like. No Batman in this one, but it does have him on the cover in a few of the cards. But we did get some Superman, Superboy, and Steel in there, so that's a pretty good lineup. And all their stats were real good. And you get a rule book and some of these cards with maybe some extras. I don't know. Maybe they're supposed to be one and three quarter sets. Seems a little weird to me, but here we are. Anyway, that's what's in the box. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time on What's Inside.